Hi, it's Mindy back again with the fourth and final video in our series on using one of ConvertKit's automation templates to set up a welcome newsletter email sequence. In this video, we are going to focus on the third and final way into our automation, and that is through using one of ConvertKit's landing pages. I am going to talk to you about why you might choose to use one of ConvertKit's landing pages, and then we are going to go ahead and start configuring it. Let's get to the automation. So here we are in our automation and I am looking at that bar across the top with my three ways in. I'm looking at the one farthest to the right, the sign up landing page. Now, what is this? Let's click on it and see what it looks like. Okay, just out of the box with ConvertKit's chosen template, we can see it's just a page where we are letting people know about something and then we're collecting their email interest. So why might you wanna use one of these landing page templates? There are a couple of really great use cases. Use case number one, you are brand new with your business and you don't even have your website set up. So you're just getting started, but you wanna start, you know, while you're building your own standalone website, you wanna start telling people about your business and you want to start collecting interest so that when your website is ready, when your products are ready, you've already built up an audience that's that's sort of ready and eager to hear about it. With a, with a landing page template, you can build a simple one page website that is hosted by ConvertKit and that will let you start collecting interest right away. So that's use case number one. Use case number two is maybe you've already got an existing website, you know, your, your business is thriving and you have an idea for a new product and you just wanna sort of quickly throw together a page where then you can find out if people are interested in it. You can collect interest from your existing audience about that topic. And maybe your website is sort of very complicated, uh, takes other people to edit your website and you just want to build that page right away. You can use ConvertKit's landing page templates to, you know, put in your own branding, but throw together a quick page that is hosted on ConvertKit. You can email it out to people um, or, you know, you can drive interest. A really great use case is like, let's say you're speaking at a conference or something and you want to um, tell people at the conference, like, you know, go and check out this page or, so or something like that. So that's another reason why you might want to use this. ConvertKit 2 has recently, you know, started allowing you to sell your products directly through ConvertKit. You, you don't need any other third party payment processing tools. You don't need to use say like Teachable or Samcart or something like that. You can do all of that straight through ConvertKit. And this is a way in which you can set up a page for your product through a landing page. Now that we've talked about why we might want to use the landing page, let's get to customizing this page. When we click from the automations on sign up landing page, it takes us here. And under general styles, you'll see the template that was chosen is Hudson. We can go through and customize our styles. We can change the font type for our headers. We can change the font type for our body. We can adjust all of that and so that you can choose the look that works for you. ConvertKit has given you a background, um, but if you wanna change that background, you can. You can change the overlay color. Let me change it to the SPI Media Green here. So now I've got the SPI Media Green, but maybe I want it to look a little bit less obvious. If I want to make it look real obvious, I can go real low on the transparency, but I'm going to make it kind of subtle. There we go. So that's our styling to get started with editing this. First of all, let's change this to our logo. Okay. So I've uploaded my logo and I'm just going to start customizing this form to sort of get people excited about, you know, why they should sign up. So we'll fast forward through that process. Okay, so I've made some customizations here. You can see I have set up a headline with a call to action and I have added in an image. And if I click on that image, I can 
edit the way that that image looks. Now here is an example of me using this to sell a product. I've added in a product button. And the way that I did that um, is you can hit the little plus sign here. And one of the options here is product. And so I could get rid of this box at the bottom and I could use this to sell my product, right? Or let's look at another use case here. I'm gonna delete this section. Just hit the backspace here and be careful. There we go. I've deleted my button. That's no longer a part of this. And now I'm using this page to get people interested in my product, SPI Pro, but to join the wait list. And so I've got a landing page here that shows a little bit about the product. I could put a video in on this page that talks about uh, SPI Pro and why you might wanna join that community. And then people can sign up to let me know, hey, I'm interested, tell me when it opens. And so earlier when I was talking about how you might wanna use the landing page to gauge interest in a product, one way that you do that is you set up a page like this and you tell people, join the wait list. And then you kind of gauge, okay, how big does that wait list get? Do I get enough people on this wait list that that tells me, yes, people are interested? Or, you know, maybe you debut a wait list and it's crickets and nobody's interested. And that's a great thing to know before you go through all the trouble of building that product is that, you know, mm, my audience really isn't interested in this. Maybe I should focus on building something else. Okay, so I have my landing page here. What next? I am gonna go up to the settings of the landing page. Okay, so here in the setting pages, you'll notice if you watched our video on um, setting up a sign up form, this is gonna look really similar. You wanna put in a success message so people know when they fill out that form and hit the button that like something happened, that the form was submitted so they don't keep filling it in over and over and over. And with redirect to an external page, that is like, um, that's sending somebody, say, to a thank you page. So instead of popping up that success message on the page, instead they're going to um, a separate thank you page that says thank you for filling out this form. Now domain name is an interesting one here when it comes to landing pages. This is something that you're gonna wanna set up. And you can see here we've got learn more about setting up a custom domain. If you're going to be using the landing pages a lot, you may want to consider setting up a custom domain or at the very least you want to be sure to edit um, what ConvertKit has used as your, um, your domain name. And let's click on this. Okay, so ConvertKit has taken us to custom settings. And this is where, say, if you want to buy a landing page domain name, like for example, our, our website URL is smartpassiveincome.com. I could buy a separate URL for these landing pages perhaps, or I could set up a subdomain like pages.smartpassiveincome.com. That gets a little more complicated. We're not gonna go into that in this video here. There are instructions here from ConvertKit on how to do that. But here we are, this witty-crafter-8565. So ConvertKit automatically assigned that to me um, when I set up my account. You can change that to be something more relevant to your brand. And so if you don't set up a custom domain, that your landing pages are gonna be at that URL. So I might wanna choose something better related to my business. If I'm selling cat furniture, you know, maybe um, maybe it's going to be custom dash cat furniture or something like that. So here is where you edit that before you publish your page. Okay, let's go back to our sign up form settings. So here, if I had set up a custom domain, I would choose that or I'm going to choose, you see that witty crafter 8565. I will choose that because I don't have a custom domain set up. And then I can give this landing page a URL. So in this case, I might use SPI Pro Interest. Cool, okay, so you can see down here, there's two URLs for this landing page. One is sort of ConvertKit's default one, and then here, here is mine. The rest of this is just like setting up a form. If you wanted to send out an incentive email, basically this is the the double opt-in. We went through all of this in the sign-up form video and I would recommend watching that video. So you'll want to edit your incentive email 
This is the confirmation email that people receive when they sign up for when they sign up for your form, they will get this email asking them to click the button in the email in order to opt into notifications. It's double opt in. We talked about single opt in versus double opt in in the sign up form video. You can edit this, you can change the colors, that sort of thing. When you're done, just hit save. And this section below, you're just setting when people push that button to confirm their, um, to confirm that they wanna receive the emails from you. You can either use ConvertKit's canned URL or you could specify a different URL. Or you could switch to download and give them some kind of say lead magnet, some kind of PDF download in the advanced settings here you're just going to decide what happens on this page after someone fills out the form i'm going to continue to show the form now seo and analytics this is important for landing pages because um, if you say are using this to grow your list um, and you want this to be visible in search, you will want to fill out these things as well as you want to fill these things out if you're hoping that people are going to share this URL because this is the things like when the link is shared on Facebook, the title is going to display, the description is going to display, the image that you load in here is going to display. So I'm going to take a moment and fill this out. And then you have the ability to connect analytics from various services here. So say you've got a Google Analytics account, which you should, unless you're using Google Tag Manager, if you're using one or the other, um, you'll want to put that information in here as well as it's got some other social sharing things in here okay so i've got my information all filled out and i'll be sure to click save okay so you've got your page all set up but what does it look like let's click on preview and now we can see the view sort of without all of the editing bars here this is what our page looks like and this is a good interest capture landing page again you can customize it more change the background image change the colors you can add in a video if you want to anything that you think will help capture interest in sort of your ultimate goal which is either making getting people to make a purchase or getting them to join your wait list I'll click exit preview. Now, how do we share it? Click on share. And again, this gives us our URL that we set here. You also makes it easy to share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, or if you're using the ConvertKit plugin on your WordPress site, you can embed this into your existing website. And so it becomes just another page on your WordPress website. So we're all done here. We have to do one more thing. We've got to publish it. Click here to save and publish. And when you do, it will close out the editor. And here we are. Now, when people join your landing page, they will get added into your welcome evergreen sequence. So we're all done with this series on using ConvertKit's automation template to build a welcome email sequence. We'll cover a lot more about email marketing in the coming months, so subscribe to the channel or check out the link below to get our email marketing cheat sheet. This cheat sheet gives you a whole bunch of ideas of what to write about for your emails. You'll never run out of content again if you follow the advice in the cheat sheet. So good luck, and we're always here to help you grow your audience through serving your customers.